Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Summers, and this is Dot, and she has been out this morning, and she's being a good girl today. And I'm here again with my scratchy throat, <clears throat> my draining sinuses, and my medicine head. But uh, this is still the day the Lord has made, and it's still a gift to us who are willing to receive it, to live into it, and to give him the glory uh, and the praise today. And I choose to do that, and I hope you do too. Uh, we are uh, plowing our way toward the day of Pentecost coming up this coming weekend, uh, the 50, 50th day uh, after the resurrection of our Lord. The day when the uh, first 120 followers of the Lord Jesus were filled with the Holy Spirit and empowered uh, to be the Lord's uh, uh, miss missionaries in the world, uh, to be the bearers of light in the world that was then and is now and ever will be mesmerized by darkness. Uh, and I've just been thinking, people ask me from time to time uh, about how you can uh, learn how to trust someone. You know, we live in a world now where trusts are broken all the time. Uh, people do not follow through on what they have agreed to do. People change their minds and harm others. And, you know, trust is something that just gets tossed aside. And how can we learn how to trust again? Well, the best answer I have for that is, is to uh, be trustworthy yourself. Be true to your word. Keep your promises. Uh, be steadfast in your relationships with others. Trust has everything to do with relationships. And the most important relationship, of course, is our relationship with God. Uh, he is the one who initiated that relationship. And his relationship with us is permanent. He's not going to go back on his word. He's not going to betray us or abandon us. God keeps his word. And we need to do the same with others. Uh, we need to, first of all, pay attention to others, actually care about them, look them in the eye when they're speaking to us, listen with our ears and focus. Relationships are a two-way street. Uh, and we need to be trustworthy ourselves. So when we promise to do something, let's just do it. You know, when we say we're going to, to accomplish A, B, and C, we do our best to do that. <clears throat> and then, of course, we all have trouble with that. And that's where God comes in. Ask him for his help. He is trustworthy and worthy of our trust. Uh, and you can believe and trust in him. He keeps his word to us. Now, and we do walk through troubles in this world, but he does not abandon us because he promised that he would not. So hold fast to him today. And sometimes music helps. It always helps me. And I've been thinking of the wonderful 1880 song, a uh, uh, missionary song called Trust and Obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Have a blessed day today, and God willing, God and I will see you here again tomorrow.